I guess there's always two sides to the story, two sides to all equations. You know, what's ironic is this, is that while um, you have the news media out there running dirty, um, exploding with the propaganda, and um, having you to believe that everybody in Israel is with this U.S. embassy move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, I'm going to connect the video down here from RT um, and let you see hundreds, if not thousands of Israelis. They're not Hebrews, they're Israelis. Um, protesting in Jerusalem, excuse me, for the move that America made by moving its U.S. Embassy. Also, what's not being reported is that Iran has done launched missiles into the Golden Heights. Um, and war is brewing over there, but we have, again, for some reason, a media blackout. You know, it sure would be nice if we as a whole, in mass, could actually choose to think. Because you have enough people here on YouTube, you have enough people in this world, they're trying to do whatever they can to keep you informed. I know that there's a lot of noise out there and you have to chew the meat and spit out the bones. But you should be able to discern. And, and don't be so fickle like a lot of people that if somebody says one thing you don't like, all of a sudden you you go off in your emotions and then go stalk raving mad and crazy. Are you out of mind living by your emotions? But anyway, you got to start asking yourself, what is it about this controlled, propagandized news media that has so much political sway on the conscience of people that can stir up people to do certain things. Oh, boy. Don't know. Don't know. I know one thing. I'm not going to be controlled and manipulated like that. But, um, I still say, you better get ready for those of you out there to send your sons and daughters to go fight for that Zionist state called Israel. Get ready. I passed down. Oh, I passed down. Pass. I know. I know one thing about this country. All wars have begun with a false flag. And think about this for a second. We still over there tearing the hell out of that countryside have decimated the Iranian people. And we still haven't found not one weapon of mass destruction. And it seems to be the prelude to every attack. They reported that the Syrian people were suffering from chemical nerve agent. I don't know if they said blood agent. Um, they were being gassed. And then when reporters get there and get boots on the ground, they can't find no evidence. Scientists get over and can't find no evidence of any type of attack whatsoever at all. I told you, this world is being controlled by less than 10 people. And there's 10 people because people have a greed and a love for money. <coughs> <coughs> they would do anything in their power to obtain it. That means if they have to step on you and then step over you, in order to get it. Love of money. Root of all evil. So what do you say, Pastor? I'm tell you exactly what I say. Save yourself. And don't trust your neighbor who you don't know. You better start getting around people who you can trust. And people, who, there's got to be somebody out there that is a friend that sticks closer than a brother that is a friend that loves at all times. Someone you can depend on, and, and it's not the, your family members. You, you should have learned that lesson a long, long time ago. Most of them are blood-sucking, thirsty hypocrites. 
that expect more out of you than they're capable of producing themselves. I mean, I can't tell you how many situations I deal with where everybody's right in their own eyes and the finger that they point at everybody else, they don't see the fingers that are pointing right back at them. They don't even see, they see themselves in a clear light and they hold themselves not guilty. Anyway, I ain't going to say wars on the horizon because we've been in plenty of wars. But think about this. When you have a global economy that stinks, what's the way to keep the ship afloat? For glory's sake, war. At your expense, too, because the rich people ain't going to send their children to war. I'd say, don't you send another son or daughter or try to educate them to not even think about going into another war for the United States of America until the rich lead by example. And we see it. We see them in boot camp. We see them physically serving as privates and specialists and sergeants. What do you think? I think I'm right.